this is the interview for my blog with the two second year students and we'll talk about life in IMFSC. So the first question is, um, what is your background and how do you know about IMFSC? Okay, should we introduce ourselves first? <laughs> mm, yep. <laughs> sure. So, should we... Okay, uh, my name is Val Shovanovic. I come from Serbia. When you ask me about my background, I finished uh, civil engineering back home. I had my master's degree in structural engineering. And how I heard about time FSC? Mm. Well, uh, a really good friend of mine from my school back home, he was a year before me here to MFSC and once I finished my studies back home, I was actually talking to him about me wanting to continue studies, to try to specialize even more, and he told me only best thing about MFSC and then I realized that's the best choice for me, so I applied and here I am now. Oh, so he's your senior or? No, he was, uh, he was my, he was same year as me, but he didn't oh. finish the master degree. He came straight straight to IMFC. I waited for one more year to get my master's degree, and then I came here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'm Jamie from New Zealand. Yeah. Uh, same as Balshaw. I did structural for my undergraduate in New Zealand, and I, I started studying fire as a master's in New Zealand no. before I got accepted over here. And yeah, I, I just came over once I got accepted into the IMFSC. Mm -hmm. uh, I heard about the program from, I actually went into a fire engineering business oh. in, the, in the second year of my undergraduate and, and spoke to a, a CEO there. And one of his employees had just finished IMFSC. Mm -hmm. he, he was one of the, the first cohorts. And uh, he told me about it. And then, yeah, three years later, I, I got accepted. Was it an internship or uh, no, an actual I, talk? I actually I wasn't enjoying the first semester. Of <laughs> oh, okay. I thought it was really boring. It was oh. all concrete mix design and yeah. drawing roads and stuff. Yeah. So I was like, yeah, this is rubbish. <laughs> <laughs> I want to do fire. Okay. So yeah, I just I emailed the CEO and he said come in for a, for a chat. So oh. it worked out. Nice. And how do you feel about IMFC after? Three, um, almost three, almost three semesters here. Yeah. 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 Uh, yeah, I got first. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I think it's great. It's fantastic. Right. Yeah, I mean, get to cruise around three different countries, mm -hmm. three different universities. Really good lecturers. I think really great universities. So, yeah, I mean, couldn't be better, really. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like the thing is, he said, like it's the best. Uh, professors from best universities from mm -hmm. fire, like academically speaking, probably one of the best programs in fire safety in the world. But also the international part of it, it's really important because you experience life in other countries, you, all your colleagues or your schoolmates, they're from all over the world. Yeah. And you, meet, you learn a lot about fire safety in rain, but you learn a lot much more about life, I would say. so. One of the best things about IMFC is that you, next to your academic stuff, next to your knowledge that you gain, you also gain, I would say, like family in IMFC, mm -hmm. which is one of the best things like, yeah. that can yeah. be offered by this kind of programs. Yeah. Agree. <laughs> <laughs> and you, you've experienced all three countries in IMFC. So first semester, you took Glen University yes. in Belgium, and the second semester, we all go, we all went to the Lund University, mm -hmm. and now you're here in Thank University you. of Edinburgh. So, could you compare life and education in the three cities, in the three countries? So you can start with education first. Maybe? Yeah, I think in Ghent it's quite old school the way they go about their education, which is it's interesting. Like a, it's like a, a lecturer up the front drawing on a blackboard, you know, <laughs> and they go through all of the theory very thoroughly and in mm -hmm. depth and really go from first principles a lot, I would say. And then in, in, in Lund, I think it's more of a relaxed kind of pace. Oh, relaxed. Yeah. yeah especially yeah. the contrast after Ghent, which yeah. is, like you said, old school, a lot of lectures, a lot of details, I would say really thorough exams because you have like 
oral part, written part. Oh, oral think, part. Mm -hmm. yeah, 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 which is actually for most of the students in IFC, I think it was a new thing. Mm -hmm. For me personally, it was like the same thing for me because the, for me it was best because transition from my university back home to Ghent, it was easy because we were oh. also old school like that. <laughs> yeah. Like for them, it was there like, oh yeah, they're using blackboards. I was like, yeah, what do you use? <laughs> 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 There's new technology, I didn't know about that. Blackboard, <laughs> all. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I was like, okay. Yeah, and then you got to translate to Lund, which is like, they're trying to modernize it as much as they can. The, Everything is a little bit more relaxed. Everything is a little bit more turned to the student to mm -hmm. get yourself like the best experiences you can get. And then Edinburgh is somewhere in between, I would say. <laughs> For him, I think it was the easiest transition because it was the most similar to yeah. New Zealand. Not similar. I would say so. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like fewer contact hours, less lectures, and. Mm -hmm you kind of left to do more of your own reading and yeah. preparation, I would say. And it keeps the lectures more concise and focused, I think. So mm. it's just a different approach. But yeah, it was an easier transition for me to Edinburgh, I think. Yeah, more to like DIY thing. We needed to learn it ourselves and then ask yeah. the professors. The yeah, lectures. that's true. And actually, all three universities, though, the lecturers are very accessible though so mm. from that point of view it, it doesn't change too much i think if you have questions just send an email and yeah. they're all over it even most of them are just saying like you can drop by my office mm. anytime if we're available and they will actually help you and they're also the best thing about them see like the first thing they're going to ask you is not like what is your question like how are you <laughs> how can we yeah, help yeah. you as a student yeah, yeah. first just to see like if you're okay and then we're going to do other like unimportant stuff like so. <laughs> but yeah but that kind of interaction with professors is really amazing like they're trying like really interact and help you the best way they can about anything i would say yeah that's a good experience too yeah that's like also experience yes yeah. so what about the life in the three countries <laughs> the daily life thing. like doing parties <laughs> uh, Belgium, Belgium's pretty sociable, I would oh. say. Yeah, I would say the most sociable in a way. But, yeah, I think Belgium and Sweden as well are really well set up for international students to, mm. to socialize. Like they, they have a lot of international events and, and whatnot, and they actually put you into uh, mentor groups in, in Lund as well. Mentor? Yeah, well, mentor mm. groups or sort of just buddy groups almost in a way. Wow. So you meet a few people even on your first day and it's a good little, I don't know, like launch pad, I guess. So, but um, yeah, and I don't know, like, I think Ghent, Ghent was probably the most sociable for me. The, there's the Overport Street, <laughs> which is, uh, it's a real danger zone, but it's a lot of fun, so. Yeah, don't tell too much, I'm spoiled with surprises. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. I've, been to, I've been to Ghent, I've never been to Ghent. So okay. yeah, it's fun. It's different, like uh, Lund and Ghent, there are mostly student cities, mm -hmm. so they're full of students, full of international, especially Ghent, like Ghent, I think 20% of the students were outside of the, outside of, from outside of the Belgium, and in that way, they're much different to Edinburgh, which is capital, yeah. it's not a student city, but I would say that for Pretty, uh, a big number also of IMFSC students, it will be a really positive thing because we see that in all cohorts, like the age of the students in IMFSC varies a lot from yeah. really young people to older people. And some of them were like the classical students stuff like Jamie Light here. <laughs> but some of them were older were probably more, more enjoy Edinburgh because it's a city which is not revolving around student life in a way. So I think, that's also one of the best things about IMFC. You have choices. Oh, yeah. You can see what you like, what you don't like. If you, even if you don't like it, soon it's gonna be over. <laughs> That's also the worst thing because if you like it, soon it's gonna be over. <laughs> so treasure the moments. <laughs> one more thing, actually. Like, uh, in Belgium, it, um, it's really busy during the week. There's people everywhere, mm -hmm. and then the city evacuates on the weekends. All, all the Belgian students go back to mum and dad's, ah, and then okay. compare that to Sweden, 
the entire well, Lund is evacuated 24-7. Yeah. It's very quiet. Oh, okay. Until until one moment. Until yeah. the spring, until the sun comes out. Like in, I would say, three days like this, everything changes. Sun yeah. is out. The weather is beautiful. People are everywhere. Everybody's sociable. Everybody. So don't be so scared about the first few months in Lund. Mm -hmm. <laughs> because for, I think, every IMFC student, first few months in Lund were, I would say, Difficult? <laughs> is, is that a okay word? Empty, empty city. <laughs> it's yeah. It's kind of empty city. But it's only during the winter. Yeah, during the winter. Because as soon as the sun goes out, mm. like I think Swedish people appreciate sun most than any other people I ever met. <laughs> they really enjoy every second of it. <laughs> and you you cannot help it to enjoy it with them. <laughs> so it's around March? Yeah. April. Yeah, I think it will like after you have the first exam period, after that, weather starts to get much better really fast, and the whole city like mm. turns around. Like even I think like flowers just blossom in like, two days. <laughs> it's amazing. <laughs> so you think the best city is Gen? Um, I look up for different things. Like, oh, different things. Oh, yeah, okay. It's true. Like, and I gotta say that Gent goes completely quiet on the weekends. But uh, Edinburgh, I would say, is non-stop. It's always busy, yeah. always happening. So yeah. if you're into that, then maybe Edinburgh is more. Familiar. Oh, it depends on the yeah, on our preferences. Yeah, it's totally up to the person, I think. But yeah. Yeah, hey, I have no idea which one is my favorite. Right? Yeah. Ghent was my favorite to be here because I think I will always associate Ghent with MFC because it was my first stop and oh, yeah. everything was new and exciting. But then also again, I had a lot like I. As much as uh, Lund was difficult at the beginning, the last month, two months were amazing there. So I really didn't want to leave Sweden after <laughs> the <last time>. <laughs> <laughs> Same thing is happening now for Edinburgh, but because we're staying here a full year, because we're doing our thesis here, we kind of like experienced it slowly, so no. we're not in a rush. Yeah. Like we were first two semesters, because you're like, first semester especially, it goes so fast, I think you can... <laughs> Already say that yeah. because you're coming to an end and you're like, oh, oh, I didn't do as much stuff as I wanted yeah. to do. And I need to leave soon. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. That's that's the worst part because like last few week, last last week in every city, you're like, oh, I have yeah. so much things to do. Yeah. <laughs> Especially when yeah. the exams are over and you're like, I have free time now, but I have to leave in five days. <laughs> so the next question is, uh, do you have any suggestion to like newer student? on what which path to choose for for example like you choose Ken in your first semester and then Lund and then Edinburgh or do you have any preferences for our student to choose maybe Ken and then Lund and then Ken again mm -hmm. or maybe Edinburgh Lund and then Ken? Well it depends like because we have to choose the same path like I don't think we have much opinions about how the other paths look mm -hmm. like but we talk with people I would say each path is good like even doing uh, Ghent, Lund, Edinburgh, Edinburgh, Lund, Ghent, or even coming back to the same uh, yes. same place for the third semester, I think it's like, uh, the only thing is maybe you should watch it a little bit academically, oh, because okay. in Edinburgh, well, it's mostly, uh, it's kind of turned around structural fire engineering, in Ghent, it's mostly like wider, fire engineering, but I would, I would propose to everybody to try all three cities. Oh. I think the difference in academics is not that big, and uh, as much as you gain with the new experience of learning in a new place, from in a different system, from new professors, mm -hmm. living in another city, so it's personal choice, so you'll see. <laughs> but you prefer to just move to each city? I, I per, yeah, I personally prefer that and I would suggest that to everyone to just try all, all of it. But you will see, like, for the first semester it's really hard to say where to go. Mm. Both of them are really yeah, yeah. good. For the third semester you already have a big picture of how everything looks, what courses are more interesting to you, what they're not, so you can actually make a better decision. For the first one, just look at the courses, look at the pictures of the city and trust your gut. <laughs> I, I think nobody had like a feel, nobody said that they made a bad decision by doing this mm -hmm. semester as a first one. 
the, the city for the first semester or some other stuff. So. I would say it's easy decision, just go with the club. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and do you have any messages to any potential new students out there? Yeah, I would say just just relax a wee bit. Relax. Especially when it comes to exam time or deadlines and stuff. Because, I mean, you got you got selected and admitted to the program mm -hmm. for a reason, so I think. The people picking who comes and doesn't come, they have a pretty good idea what they're doing, I think. Yeah. And we're not saying that because they pick us. Terrible example. Terrible example. Not for us. Like, uh, some people sleep through. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, some people. <laughs> we want to. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I think what, what worked for you at home during your previous studies, I think it will still work here. It's mm -hmm. not like it's a whole new world and you have to study in a completely different way. It's, it's still university. And if anything, I've almost found it easier to learn because the, the lecturers are, like, I think they're very concise and very focused on what they want you to know. Mm -hmm. and they're always there to help you and, and guide you along the way, give you feedback and stuff. So it's yeah, it's it's there's no need to panic and run around like headless <laughs> chickens. I think it's, no. it's which it's, happens. It does <laughs> happen. It happens to everybody. Yeah. <laughs> you don't point your go. No, what are we going to do? How how is this exam look here? How are the professors here? What are they going to ask? What is the knowledge here? What are the grading systems here? It gets overwhelming, but also to put to just go on that further, ask your seniors. Oh yeah. Ask your seniors. You yeah, everywhere you go, you will have seniors with you, and they already been through it. They already run around like headless chicken. <laughs> they already know, and just ask them about advice. How do they do it? What is this kind of exam? What is this kind of professor? They will tell you everything, and then you will relax. You will learn mm -hmm. that it's not much of a problem. And also one more advice, the one that I, I don't think I listened to it enough with my family, like travel more. Oh, travel more. Travel more, because there, at, especially at the beginning of semester, there is time for everything. There is time to just go a weekend trip somewhere. Yeah. Uh, the, all the countries are in the heart of Europe, everything is close. For most of the people they're coming from far away and the opportunity to visit some places in Europe is not yeah. so accessible, but when you're in IMFC, yeah, everything is close, yeah. especially now with plane tickets that are absurdly cheap. <laughs> so just relax and two, three days of traveling will probably help you with studying more than they will do bad because you will relax, you will have yeah. refreshing. refreshing that, yeah. You won't think about the same old things yeah. all the time, but still keep in mind school. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that's all for the messages. Uh, so that's the interview with the second year. Uh, I hope that will help for choosing any any kind of program here or course to take, which university to take. So yeah, that's all. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs>